<laughs> what? Good, my fellow main characters. My name is Burr. Welcome back to the channel for another video. I want to talk about an anime that I have enjoyed ever since it came out. As always, ever since it came out, those many years ago, has stayed. On my top 10 list. Yo guys, One Punch Man. When I say that show was immaculate and beautiful. Mm. It was a show that was hitting so many marks for me guys. It was hitting the hero mark. It was a show that had a hero theme. And that's one of my favorite themes in all of anime. It was a show that looked amazing. Like every episode was just immaculate and amazing and this is something i noticed with like mob psycho as well in terms of how studio bones is handling it and they're doing an amazing job of animating mob psycho there are certain things that didn't need to be animated didn't need to be animated with such fluidity and such nice motion and frames and everything it didn't need all that for certain scenes it really didn't but madhouse went the extra step with every second the anime was going on man like it was just crazy when it came out in 2015 one punch man came out as kind of this anomaly i think it came around the same time either around the same time as um attack on titan if i'm remembering correctly but when one punch man came out it was this anomaly of a show that people were like like from the from the entire plot a character that could defeat anybody with one punch it's, it was one of those shows, it was one of those plot ideas that you would read and be like, why would I watch this? This doesn't seem like it could be compelling or interesting to watch. Like, just watching, like, a bald dude <laughs> go around, you know, basically defeating everybody with one punch. Like, what's so interesting about that? But they found a way, like, one found a way to make One Punch Man it's narratively interesting and fun to watch, right? Clearly, animes that come out now, like, four years later that still do not even compare to the quality of animation that One Punch Man Season 1 brought at that time, man. Like, it was just... It was just balls to the walls, amazing looking stuff, man. And it, you could just tell the amount of heart and energy and time that the animators at Madhouse took to actually making this thing possible. Now, my fellow man characters, we move four years later to present day we're moving into the month of april guys into the month where one punch man season two is coming for us guys one punch man season two is coming in april i think so i'm, I'm pretty sure i gotta take off my glasses for this man mm. thing is guys i wish i was more excited for one punch man i really wish you guys don't know one Punch Man Season 2 is not being animated by Studio Madhouse. Instead, it's being animated by JC Staff. The only show I know that they've created is... Um, no, I think I know two animes they've created. They created um, Food Wars and something about like I pick up girls in a dungeon, I think so. I never even took the time to really watch that anime, really. But I've watched some episodes of Food Wars. And don't get me wrong, Food Wars is a good looking show. But Food Wars is one of those shows that looks good in terms of that still frame. Like if you just look at like a screenshot from Food Wars, it looks good. But if you look at the animation of Food Wars, it's nothing really too special. So this kind of brings worry about what to expect from One Punch Man Season 2. Because One Punch Man, ever since Madhouse, ever since Madhouse... Uh, created season one one punch man has always carried the essence of top tier highest quality animation and now we're moving into one punch man season two and it's not looking so good guys it's not looking so good i'm gonna link down below to the trailer the most recent trailer we got for one punch man season two and you know you guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below let me know what you think i'm really hoping that jc staff is just hiding it's just hiding a bunch of stuff from us in terms of how the show is actually going to look and how it's actually going to run and move right because 
based on the trailer that I'm seeing, that I've seen with my eyes, guys, I'm a bit worried. <laughs> I'm a bit scared that they're not going to do One Punch Man justice. I just don't get it why Madhouse didn't keep One Punch Man. I don't understand why. Like, I really don't get it. But there's still a part of me that still hopes, you know, because I don't want to, like, jump the gun. What I've seen so far online about people talking about One Punch Man, people are always, like, basically already now flaming JC staff and flaming the fact that the animation looks how it is in the trailer and are just, like, already flaming One Punch Man Season 2 before it even comes out. And I don't really want to add to the fire. I'm just kind of expressing how I feel about the situation. I just, I just want to have hope. I just want to have hope that JC staff is out here like Y'all are doubting us? Y'all don't think we want season one? Y'all don't think we're prepared to do what we have to do? You know what guys? You know what? You know what? JC staff, if you're watching this video right now, I have faith in you. JC staff, I am giving my faith in you, man. I'm giving my faith in you. You know, you might not do it just like how Madhouse did it, but I feel like you're you're gonna do it great. You're gonna do it amazingly in your own unique, different way. And I'm gonna support you right now. I, I'm just gonna have faith, man. I'm just gonna have faith. Anyway, my fellow characters, let me know what you guys think about One Punch Man season two. Let me know what you guys think about all the information you've kind of seen about it so far. Once again, link down below to the most recent trailer of One Punch Man season two. Like this video if it made you smile. Comment this video made you think, and subscribe when to see more. And always remember that you are the main character of your own story. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out.